China is preparing for an all-out attack on the United States of America through the use of the World Wide Web. Now, we've heard the same script for years. Foreign nations like China, Russia, North Korea, Iran, all these different countries targeting different enemies across the globe. But one common denominator is the United States of America, especially since we've been seeing attacks on critical infrastructure as of late. What's next? Will they hack cars and trucks like Tesla, Rivian, and Ford EVs? Should any of us be worried about possible attacks targeted at the 2024 presidential elections? Now, at this point, and with everything that we've seen in this year alone, anything can happen. Because this is concerning and rattling lawmakers in DC, and also we're hearing the White House as well, that China, also on top of all what Julian reported, also tried to break into the operator of the Texas power grid. They, they operate independently from electrical systems in the rest of the U.S. We understand it's the U.S. electrical system is not connected. But the, the level of China's intrusion here and their intent is deeply worrying. Yes, it is. And uh, today we had a hearing uh, in Homeland Security on the, the cybersecurity issues here in the United States. And, yeah, it's becoming more and more apparent to us that China is uh, preparing to launch some kind of a all-out uh, cyber attack on the United States if, in fact, we find ourselves in conflict with them over, over Taiwan. And what's really scary about it is that it used to take an army of, of folks uh, launching all of these uh, attacks against us, but now with artificial intelligence, you know, just a, a handful of people can start to, uh, to launch cyber attacks all over across the United States using using artificial intelligence. So the, and so, you, yeah, it's becoming a real, real threat to the American homeland. Do you homeland. see how they're planting the flag? They went after a port on the West Coast, that's China, saying we could shut down right. a port. They went into a Hawaiian uh, a water system in Hawaii. We can shut down water in Hawaii. They went into Texas's power grid saying we can shut down possibly Texas's power grid, maybe during heat wave, who knows? Yeah, well, they can do that and much, much more. And so if they, these, these are just probing attacks, uh, demonstrations, uh, if you, you know, for But what is the word. White House doing to stop it? What is the government doing to protect Americans out here? Well, that's why we had these hearings. And what is, what is the Department of Homeland Security doing to make sure that we are resilient in any attack that uh, China may launch against us. You know, one of the things that I asked is, look, eventually it's, this is going to be artificial intelligence against artificial intelligence. And who has the smarter artificial intelligence is going to win out. Wow. Now, I know that's highly plausible that China's attacking us online, but that comment about AI versus AI, I don't know, guys. That really doesn't make me feel all that secure at all, especially as we're talking about artificial intelligence. But here's a question for you guys. Do you agree to put the cybersecurity of the United States, this includes critical infrastructure, okay, much like water and electricity in the hands of artificial intelligence? Should we be doing that? Comment a quick yes if you think we should put our critical infrastructure into the hands of AI. And comment no if you think we should not put our critical US infrastructure into the hands of AI. Because I know for a fact that we got the brightest community here on YouTube. And you know, when it comes to objectivity and logic, you guys are winning. Now, while you guys do that, go ahead and hit the like button for the video. It really helps out with the YouTube algorithm. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. That way you get the latest information that we all need to know about. Appreciate it, guys. All right, so getting back on topic here. Me and a very close friend of mine, we were talking about these cyber attacks and he asked me one very good question that just kind of made me think twice about all these different cybersecurity issues. He asked me, what if it's a false flag operation? And then I went, wait, wait, what? Suddenly everything came back to my mind. It was like a light bulb moment. There were a lot of cyber attacks within these past few years, right? Some that even the president of the United States acknowledged himself. I mean, look back just a couple of years ago. A massive cybersecurity breach against the U.S. companies, many of them, as well as federal agencies. And there's still so much we don't know, including the full scope of the breach or the extent of the damage it has caused. You guys have to remember these false flag operations. They're not done within a year or so, they're planted. Now, again, this is based on stuff that's happened, but what are the odds that the players, meaning the countries involved, all continue to be the same? I mean, it's like an attack happens and then they're saying like, well, this looks a lot like China or Russia or Iran. So we're gonna go with that narrative, all right? That's what we've been hearing for years. 
And don't get me wrong, guys, these countries don't like the United States. But every time something goes wrong, the finger automatically seems to get pointed at those guys. Like, look, did you see the recent outage with Netflix? I generally don't get, you know, addicted to streaming sites like that, but it popped up on the news feed that their servers were down and kept people out of their apps for hours. No Netflix and chill for those guys. Now you might be asking, why should we even care about Netflix being down, Ron? Well, because the outage happened within the same time as Rumble going down. You guys know Rumble, right? Well, December 12th, 2023, that's 1212, by the way, for those who pay attention to numbers and dates like that, and that this was, in his words, an unprecedented attack. That he also happened to suspect is political, alluding that it could be related to censorship. You see, they pride themselves in giving users and people just like you and me a medium wherein we could reach out to the people and inform them of the truth much like YouTube, but without the guardrails. You see where I'm going with this, right? Do any of you think that our enemies would like the truth to be concealed? Hmm. Which brings me to the World Economic Forum. Yes, the unelected leaders of our time. Notice what they planted, and I'm using the term purposefully here, but listen to every single word that they say, okay? We need to build a more resilient uh, world, and uh, uh, the virus is just a um, call for action. You have also uh, big risks, which we have alerted to in our risk report, like uh, a cyber attack, and of course, the whole issue of global warming. So I hope uh, that uh, this uh, COVID crisis will uh, create sufficient um, drive for each government uh, to be more open for global cooperation, because without the global cooperation, we cannot solve those issues. Cyber attacks, you say? Ladies and gentlemen, this was recorded July 20 freaking 20. And notice how he emphasized governments cooperating with them. Global cooperation, right? So we got multiple cyber attacks, some even endangering our banking system, our water system, our power grids. And the way to solve it is to work together. Or in this case, maybe give the reins to, I don't know, billionaires in Davos? Because it looks like they were present during the premiere night. You know that? The first night where a piece of work is presented, although it's not always open to the general public. This opens the doors to a lot of rabbit holes that we've been on this entire year. I'm talking about the CDC, a global digital ID, 15 minute cities, limiting travel that produces carbon emissions, censoring free speech. I mean, I could just probably go on and on about this stuff, but you know, because it's stuff that I've already told you guys in the past, and now it's all possibly mm, starting to come together, so to speak. Which brings me to the last point here, and take this with a grain of salt because this is just what some analysts and critics are talking about here. But what happens if we encounter a huge cyber attack, one that affects the entire nation, the entire power grid, all computer systems, one that could happen, I don't know, maybe right before the 2024 presidential elections? Do any of you guys think that this is plausible? Now, I know this is bordering on conspiracy theory talk, but you know, no one can deny the attacks. No one can deny the messages that we have seen throughout the years. But as I always do, I'm gonna go ahead and leave the last word to you guys. What do y'all think about everything that we talked about today? Far-fetched, unbelievable, or is it closer to reality than we actually think it is? Make sure you guys comment down below. And before I go, I just wanna thank you guys for your time. Keep safe, and I'm gonna see you guys on the next one.